Hello, this is Dr. Leo at Lee Time. Today, I'm gonna demonstrate you how to distill wormwood with its fresh leaves and stems, how to prepare the fresh herbs and set up a distiller for the best yield. You can follow the same procedure with other fresh herbs such as rose, peppermint, etc. We have talked about the chamomile essential oil which has a light blue color and a wormwood essential oil also has its strong color due to its special chemical composition. Wormwood has a long history being used as a medicinal herb and one of its major phytochemical compounds is uh, sujang. I will briefly talk about the benefits of uh, wormwood and its essential oil at the end of the video after the distillation I will discuss the intake dosage of wormwood hydrosol based on European Medicinal Agency proposal. Wormwood was used as a folk remedies in Europe as a gynecological agent to help induce uh, menstruation. And even now it's still used in Yemen uh, to help relieve pain during the childbirth. In Asia, wormwood has been used as an anti-malarial, antiviral, anti-tumor, and many other effects. And essential oil containing sujang extracted such as from a sage and a wormwood has been used to help to treat the liver protection bronchial congestion and inflammation, arthritis, joint pain, cirrhosis, and a urine cancer. Pure sojourn is known as a neurotoxin, but for herbs, European Medicine Agency, the EMA, has a recommended a dosage, which I will discuss at the end of the video after the distillation. Sujo is believed as a neurotoxin. For herbs, the Europe Medicine Agency has a recommended intake dosage, which I will discuss at the end of the video after the distillation. Now I'm gonna demonstrate you the distillation of wormwood from its fresh herbs. And there are several key steps you wanna take to uh, improve your extraction efficiency. So the step one is, uh, you know, after you collect the herb, you clean up. Uh, clean up uh, the wilted uh, the leaves for this one, or the wilted uh, flower, the dried leaves, and just uh, take them off. pick the wet leaf, the dry leaf, or the rotten leaf. Dry leaf is not that bad, but the rotten one, you definitely want to uh, take it off. And then just you uh, do a quick rinse with water. And just uh, basically, we just want to wash off the dirt or some other, you know, the, the, um, sometimes you may have uh, bugs, just wash off. And that's it. So you don't need to like do a, a long soaking or whatever. So this is the first step of clean up. The second step is very important is uh, cut them into uh, small pieces. Especially the stems. You don't have a chop like into a tiny pieces. Smaller is better, um, but just depends on you, you know, how much work or time you have. Um, so for this one, because the leaf is so soft, I will cut into like just two inches long.
Uh, cutting it also important actually. It's um, you know it's like a cooking. You you want to prepare your food ready. So when you are cutting, you may find some uh, the weighted leaf uh, hiding. So just pick it, pick it up, and uh, throw it away. Just for some like a very uh, strong or big uh, stem, uh, you don't have uh, you know cut a very small. If um, you know it's really hard to cut it, just uh, you can just use a hand uh, to just crack it. Make sure they can easily go into the pot. That will be uh, good enough. So same thing here. Of course, if you can shred it or cut it into smaller pieces, that will be better. Now, after we cut it, herb is almost ready to put in into the distiller. The herb is ready. Uh, I got a, a bucket of uh, filtered water. Uh, with the three gallon distiller, uh, it can hold, if you want to do the steam distillation, that means the herb is on top of the water. If you do the steam distillation, it can um, fill with up to 7 liter, about 1.6 uh, gallon. Uh, I would recommend at least 5 liter. Fill about half uh, of the water. Uh, as I said, it can go up to 7 liter. Then put the herb bucket in. In today's distillation, I'm gonna use the fire stove. Um, so the it's already set up. You see the distiller, the condenser. I'm using the circulation um, because I expect a longer distillation when you're using a larger distiller. So now I'm going to turn on the fire and uh, start the distillation. Sujong has a pretty good uh, solubility in water and it's uh, 400 milligram per liter. So from the EMA, the Europe uh, Medicine Agency, the recommended uh, intake dosage of Sujong is uh, 3 milligram per day per person and it can last uh, up to 2 weeks. So based on that, the 1 teaspoon of uh, saturated work with the hydrosol so can be taken every day for up to two weeks but also depends on the person talk with your family doctor get a professional advice thank you for watching hopefully you learned something today regarding the wormwood and how to distill it leave your comments and a question down below uh, please help me uh, like the video subscribe the channel 
and this is Dr. Leo at Lead Time. See you next time.